Good morning to the pointers. Um, I wasn't planning to make a video today, but I thought I'd make a bit of a spontaneous one um, because I've just been walking Amy, uh, my early morning walk as always. Um, actually, it's not that early, but um, and I've just been musing on um, on English, on, on vocabulary in particular. Um, uh, now, some of you may know that um, I recently moved to Asturias in the north of Spain from Madrid. Um, but I had been living in Madrid for 19 years, so 19 years living in Spain um, and speaking Spanish. So I have a relatively good level of Spanish. But what I noticed when I came to Asturias, uh, living in a very remote area in the in the mountains, really, very co close to the coast too, um, what I noticed was that uh, I suddenly started learning all this new Spanish vocabulary, um, which... I wasn't familiar with before. It was, um, I guess this is quite obvious because I'm living in a, a different environment, a different area, surrounded by new input. And I'm learning all this vocabulary that I wasn't uh, in contact with before. I had no exposure to that vocabulary. So things like, um, for the Spanish speakers and <laughs> for the non-Spanish speakers, I'm not going to translate the words because it's not really important, but words like cencerro, which is a, um, a cowbell, I'll tra translate that one for you at least, uh, but prender, fuego, um, even the different types of cows, the different types of trees. I even know, behind me you'll see some mountains or, or big hills, um, I know that that, that mountain is called Benzua. Um That's not vocabulary, that's just the names of the mountains, but you can see that suddenly... I'm learning things or I'm absorbing things that I I didn't know before. So I'm exposing myself to this new vocabulary. Um, so what's this got to do with you learning English? Well, I think the point I'm trying to make is that to learn, to expand your vocabulary, you need to put yourself in different situations um, or expose yourself to different input. You can't just always read the same types of books or watch the same types of series or films um, or always speak about the same things or read the same internet articles. Um, by doing that, you will just reinforce the same vocabulary you already have, which is fine. But if you want to expand your vocabulary, you really need to put yourself in situations where you are exposed to more vocabulary on a regular basis and where you need to use that vocabulary. Um, so a lot of you are preparing for the Cambridge exams and uh, you'll need vocabulary that perhaps you're not... on subjects that perhaps you're not that interested in. So you have to force yourself to read um, articles and watch series, listen to podcasts um, on subjects that, yeah, that, that maybe you wouldn't normally choose to, uh, to watch or read about. Um, but I have to include Amy in the video a little bit. She's just sniffing around. And, and include this beautiful scenery. Um, so yeah, that's all I really wanted to say. It's just my musings on, on the how to learn vocabulary. And as I've said in previous videos, you can't learn all the vocabulary in the English language. So you have to be selective um, and actively expose yourself to the vocabulary you think you're going to need. As I said, if you're studying for an exam, you don't know what vocabulary you're going to need, so you just have to read as many different types of uh, articles as you can, listen to as many different types of podcasts, not always just repeating the same, the same topics, the same ideas. Okay, I'll leave you with Amy trying to get through this gate. I think there must be some cow friends in there somewhere. Oh, she's got through. Oh, dear. <laughs> That's probably a good place to, to end the video. Um, Okay, if you like this kind of video, this more spontaneous kind of video with no editing, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll make more. Um, and I'll see you soon for another, another video. Take care. Bye.